Welcome back to the Elevate Everyday podcast. This is our part three of our macro series. So go back and watch the protein and the carbs episode if you missed that one. But we got fats and fibers for you today. We kind of lumped these together. So, I mean, a lot of people don't think of fiber as a macro. Some people lump it in there. Um, but we wanted to go ahead and talk about fats and fiber on this one. But yeah, so let's dive right into it. So, um, Herb, I'll kind of give my perspective and then I'll I'll, uh, I'll have you chime in. But so what do fats actually do for the body? Last last week, we talked about what carbs actually do. We talked about what protein does for our body. So with fats, it is one of the main energy systems for your body. Um, but like we talked about with carbs, that's mostly fueling, you know, for one, your brain, but also um, like resistance training and things like that. What fats do um, is that they do have a play in your hormones and we'll talk more on that in a bit. Um, but their main source of fuel is for like sustained long-term cardio. Um, so if you're like a marathon runner, like, you know, just a long endurance, um, type of athlete, then fats are going to do a little bit more for you. If most of your training is surrounded, um, with resistance training, then like we talked about last week, carbs is going to be what you want to focus a lot of your attention on. Um, but Herb, what's, what's kind of your perspective on just like, what fats do for the body. Yeah. And, and there's, there's people that can get energy from their fats. Um, I'm not one of those people I've tried it. It just doesn't work. I need my carbs. So, but the fats are good for your joints. Uh, it, it's water soluble. It helps vitamins absorb. It's just one of those ingredients, you know, it's like, you know, you watch your mom make something from scratch and she puts a pinch of this and a pinch of that. You have no clue what it is, but without those two pinches, it tastes like crap. So, Fats are a necessity. Um, they go hand in hand with fiber. Um, you know, uh, again, they're good. They're good to add to a diet. Um, I don't like to concentrate on fats for energy. Um, a lot of people that do keto will argue that point with me. Um, but again, I think carbs are a better source of energy. So again, if you're looking to perform optimum, you're going to go for the carbs, but um, fats are definitely necessary for all the other absorption of all the other minerals and nutrition you need. Yeah. I think it's kind of interesting. Um, you know, we talked about essential amino acids in the protein episode, and there's actually essential fatty acids um, when it comes to fats. Like there's, you do need a certain amount of fat and you do need a certain amount of protein, you know. And, you know, there's actually not essential carbs, but, you know, with that being said, I think carbs definitely have their place. Like we talked about it, you know, strict carnivore diet, strict uh, keto diet. Like I would never follow that. I would almost never put one of our clients on that, especially just because like we said, the main source of fuel for the type of th uh, workouts that's going to get you the most bang for your buck is that resistance training and carbs is what's fueling that. Um, so so yeah, we'll, we'll talk about kind of the essential side of, of fats and, you know, it, it does optimize hormones, but as far as fuel, like you said, I, I always get most of my fuel from carbs. It's like, if I'm super carb depleted, I, I notice a huge difference in my energy. If, I, if I'm really low on fats, I don't really notice a thing, honestly. So, um, so yeah, I agree with you on that point, Herb. Um, but yeah, so we talked about, uh, how to kind of we talked about how carbs was the biggest lever we pull when it comes to changing macros, depending on people's goals. Um, but how, I'll, I'll let you start on this one. How do you figure out how many fats you should have, how many grams of fats you should have in a diet? Um, when I'm going through it, if I'm going to lower your carbs, I up your fats. If I'm up in your fats, I lower your carbs. Just again, <clears throat> once you do the work, your body's, you know, going to burn. I don't want it to burn all the fuel that I'm feeding it. I want it to burn the fat that I have on me. Um, so again, I don't want to say, oh, let's go high in carbs and fats, one or the other. Um, good fats, again, help with digestion. Um, you're going to find a lot of fiber, you know, good fiber, what's going to help you. Because again, we didn't mention this during protein, but the only real bad side effect of eating too much protein is if you don't have enough fiber, you're going to have some tough days. <laughs> Yeah. So you want to be consistent on everything. You know, when you look at protein, fats, carbs, comp, you know, whatever they're complex, fibrous, good fats, bad fats, they're all there for a reason. I, you know, so they use the word essential. Um, what does that even mean? I think there are essential carbs, carb, unless you want to walk into a door because you don't have enough glucose and glycogen running your brain, I would call that essential. Um, so again, I think uh, we follow too many labels that are put on there. I'd rather label stuff myself. 
you know, and I think everything is essential. You need it if you want to be a better machine, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a really good point on, um, on just the fiber aspect of things. Yeah. And we, and we've, we've talked with some clients we, we have clients right now, um, just going off of like, how, how does, how do we figure out like if someone needs a little bit more fats, how do we figure out if someone needs a little bit more carbs? And it's really having conversations and figuring out like, yes. you know, you know when, when we give someone a certain meal plan, it's like we, we have certain questions that we can ask um, around energy and, and hunger levels and stuff like that. Like what, and we can kind of figure out what gives people more energy with, with the type of fuel that they need. Um, and another point on that, we have some clients that have kind of like inflammation issues, gut issues. Yeah. A lot of times with those people, we do lean in a little bit more into the fats, um, mm -hmm. you know, with, cause you know, good, healthy fats can help with that inflammation digestion. Um, like you said, and, and sometimes like some of the grains and, and, and carb side of things, sometimes that can cause more inflammation. Um, yeah. so there's just specific situations where, yeah, some people do benefit more from, from a little bit higher fats, but it, it, you know, it's almost impossible to, to figure this stuff out for yourself if you don't have like a trained eye. Um, and kind of right. know what you're doing. So, yeah. yeah. One of the things I like too is, again, you're going to get an argument going back to our protein. Um, they, you're just eating too much red meat. Red meat is very inflammatory. Correct. But if you eat an avocado with your steak, you're going to, you're going to cut absorption and the lowering of the um, inflammation by like 80%, you know? So there's re again, there's reasons for the foods you eat them to perform. Um, we just need to know what you need to perform at. I'm a rock climber. I'm a bodybuilder. I'm a marathonist. Whatever you're doing, you need the proper fuel for it, right? I mean, you just wouldn't get in, get in your nice uh, Porsche and go, uh, you know, go cross country, you know, like like all the other jeeps and everything are doing. You have the specific um, need for what you're using, and we're gonna feed you what you need. Um, so yeah, um, it, it's not sexy. There's nothing sexy about fat and fiber. It's probably why we're talking about this last. It's just not <laughs> sexy. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> but very much essential, you'll find if you cut it out of your diet, all of a sudden right. your joints start to hurt a little bit, your yeah. stomach's a little more upset, takes longer to digest food, you're missing something. Yeah. Right. Don't reach for the medicine cabinet. You're not, your body's not missing aspirin or Tylenol. Your body's missing some kind of nu nutritional uh, product. So right. again, again, it's, you can go down that rabbit hole and that's why Kate and I do what we do. We cut out all the BS and all the the flashy stuff and we just give our clients exactly what they need and yeah. sometimes it really just isn't sexy you know yeah 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 and i'll kind of you know try to make it super practical for the listeners here so we, we talked about right like getting enough protein is you know at least that one gram per pound but we talked about you know for a lot of different people especially if you're resistance training hard you know you need a little bit more than that um and then we talked about keeping the fats low. Right. And so unless it's like we said, with some of those special situations with clients and we, we figure out that they do respond well to higher fats. Like I try to keep the fats basically around like 50, 60 grams. Cause that's, that's, what's going to still give you that, that, that good amount for your hormones to make sure everything's still optimal. You know, sometimes if you go way too low, then like you said, you just don't get that like essential. You could even start feeling it in your joints, stuff like that. Like there is some essential fats that you need. Um, but we try to keep it pretty dang low unless you do have, you know, just more of a response to fat, you, you get energy from it, or maybe you, we have some clients that, that resistance train with us and they do a good amount of endurance training and we give them a little bit more fats cause that's going to fuel that. Um, but yeah, just, just so that you guys can kind of be thinking about it. And then pretty much from there, um, depending on the calorie amount, like we said in the carbs, then we're, we're filling you up with carbs cause we want to give you some right. good fuel. So, yeah. um, but yeah, with, with that, I was going to say. We talked about good carbs, bad carbs, and really, you know, we said in the last episode, it really depends on when you're having them because after workouts, you do want those simple carbs to restore that glycogen. Um, but on fats, you know, what, what's your kind of take on good fats versus bad fats, Herb? Um, you know, again, bad, bad, too much of anything is going to be bad for you, yeah. right? Yeah. Too much. And again, I'm still, I'm actually looking more into this lately with uh, going a little bit more carnivore myself. Um, you know, too much meat fats are bad for you, right? Yeah. A little bit over the top. Yeah. Um, so you want to cook your meat with good fat, but you know, the fat to keep it um, from getting too dry, but then trim it off. There's no need for it. Um, we're not, you know, in the wilderness and this is all we're eating. Um, and that's what the, you know, the peel or the carnivore people will say, that's where you get the extra calories. We well, got to remember because we get clients to say, Hey, can I replace this carb with this fat? 
one gram of carbs has four calories. One gram of fat has nine. Yeah. So you just more than doubled your calorie intake. So you've got to be very careful of the fats when mm -hmm. you're taking them. But again, fat, fiber, you're going to be a little bit more um, regular and you're not going to have those, you know, stomach issues. The biggest thing that people suffer from nowadays is stomach issues, yeah. you know, um, leaky gut, just everything else. We're putting processed food in our stomach, but we don't have digestive enzymes for breaking down processed chemicals, right? Protein, good, high quality foods. That's what we need to have. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Cause one, one thing that I hear so often is like, <laughs> and it's, it's a lot of times just on initial calls with potential clients, but they're like, you know, I'm having snacks, but they're like, they're healthy snacks. They're like nuts, you know, cashews, almonds is like, okay. But just like you said, Herb, it's like, even if they're healthy fats that you're having as snacks, those, those are nine calories per gram and it adds up with the calories super quick. So you just want to take that into consideration. You know, if you think you're snacking on quote unquote healthy fats, you know, too much of anything, like you said, is, is going to increase those calories really quickly. Um, yeah. so, but on that note, yeah. too, Go ahead. It's, it's, it's dangerous because protein is very satiating. You can get filled up on protein. You'll still fill, you'll stay fuller longer than carbs. Carbs are pretty, you know, again, you slam a spaghetti and garlic bread dinner. You're going to be laying on the couch, yeah. right? Fats really don't fill you up. So the danger of fats are you're eating too much because you're not filled full yet. Right. Right. So again, people laugh when I say eat 10, uh, uh, 10, 10 almonds. They're like, oh, I'll just take a handful. No, it's a huge difference. You can't make mistakes. And you know, again, it, it, it's just seeking the education, um, but be very well aware your body needs carbs, protein, and fats, period. Yeah. What what order and how much? Let's talk. Yeah. Yeah. And <clears throat> I, I wanted to note, though, like kind of just on the, the good versus the bad, you know, we do still want most of those fats that we are getting in the diet, like we're, we would structure our clients meal plan in a way so that it is the good fats, right? And um, we're kind of minimizing the quote unquote bad fats, you know, the trans fats and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And, and, and just trying to get good, healthy, uh, like nuts and, and some of the fat from the meat, but not too much things. I like keeping that protein pretty lean. Um, and like I said, 50 to 60 grams, that's kind of my rule of thumb a lot of times, unless there's those special situations. Um, yeah. and I, I've found that this is just what I've seen and, and feedback from clients is like, I think this is the macro that sneaks up on you the most. A lot yeah. of people, they demonize carbs, but I think if people were to really track their macros, if they've never done it before, I think the fats is the highest that they don't realize is what I, right. what I would say. So, yeah, yeah. everybody loves that butter, right? <laughs> Slap that butter on a piece of bread. Here's yeah. the problem. It's not so much the butter as the bread, right? Yeah. So again, it's it, it's everything in moderation and eat to perform. So you just have to figure out what you need to perform at and follow it accordingly. Yeah. And one thing we've talked about in the past, because you've done an actual whole coaching call on this is like when you're eating out, it's those are like that they're really sneaky with the fats that are in there, right? Like the oils, you know, if you get anything fried, like that stuff adds up super quick so that's that's when i feel like when you're eating out try to minimize those fats as best you can so yeah yeah i mean i would almost err on the side of almost quote unquote going carnivore or keto almost when you go out to dinner it's only one meal you don't need to stuff yourself with the carbs yep. you know with extra you know the cheese and everything they put in a sour cream um so you know again you got to think ahead um but again it's like anything else. It, it it takes an education to really figure out how it works. You need to listen to your body on the feedback, talk to your coach and go, what, the, what should I do coach? Right. Yeah. That's our job. So, you know, again, it's seek the information. That's the first thing I can tell people to do. Yeah. And we've, we've kind of been touching on it throughout this one um, when we've been talking about fats just along the way, but um, you know, kind of the importance of fiber, let's transition a little bit more into the fiber side of things. Um, obviously we've talked about it throughout this one. It's going to help with digestion. Um, yeah. other than that, Herb, like what, what else do you think is kind of like a benefit of getting more fiber in the diet? But yeah, again, again, for me, it's pure digestive. Yeah. You know, again, I think, I think the hardest thing for people nowadays is to be consistent, um, when it comes to bowel movements, you mm -hmm. know, I know it's not, a, this is definitely not a sexy topic, but it's a very health based topic. There are people that don't go to the bathroom for days and they will have 
bacteria build up and, and, and almost poison themselves. So it's it can be dangerous, right? So again, that combination of how much protein are you eating? Um, you know, myself personally, I'm trying to get up to three grams a day. That's a lot of protein and I take a lot of fiber um, to go along with it because again, uh, you know, I'm a little older, so I got to make sure that everything's, my body's not working super hard for me. Um, I just need to be smarter, you know, but fiber is definitely your friend. Yeah. And you got to look at the carbs, right? 30 grams of carbs, right? But 10 are fiber, which means they're not going to absorb. Exactly. <clears throat> the calories from fiber do not absorb. absorb. Yeah. They go straight through and take everybody with them. <laughs> right. You know, so that's what you got to remember. How much of my carbs are fiber? Yeah. You know, how much fiber do you need every day? Everybody's different. Yeah. I need very little. My wife should be drinking fiber, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Because she actually has to take a fiber supplement because she's just, again, not a bodybuilder, not eating super amount. So mm -hmm. I would say no, a good supplementation is to look at getting some fiber in your diet. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was hoping you were going to touch on that kind of like net net carb um, thing yeah. with the fiber because uh, I actually did, you know, it's kind of almost embarrassing to say as a, as a coach, but I, I didn't understand that net carb thing until somewhat recently. Um, so I just wanted to explain, cause I'm sure there's other people out there, not just me that don't really get, you know, when, it, when you look at something and it says, you know, you got 30 carbs, but, but then you look at there's 10 grams of fiber. So there's 20 grams of, of net carbs. In there. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's because just like Herb said, you know, 10 of those car carbs grams, like you're, it's literally just passing right through you because it's fiber. <laughs> yep. So, so it's yes. like, you're not absorbing those calories from those carbs. Um, so, so that that's, that's another huge benefit. If like you're getting really fiber rich carbs in your diet, like a lot of that is just passing right through you. So vegetables, you know, not only are you getting kind of the, the satiety aspect of it because it's more volume of food and you're eating that. Um, but you're like, you're not absorbing a lot of the, those carbs is just good fiber that's passing right through you and it's helping the digestion of everything else. So I think that's huge. Um, yep. awesome. Yep. Cool. Other than that, I think that, that, that was a really good practical takeaway. What, what are their kind of just like practical takeaways you have for, for everyone on this fats and fibers? It, it, people should not fear any kind of food. You should not fear carbs. Oh my God, too much protein is too hard to eat. Oh, I don't want to eat the fat, so make me fat. I mean, so there's there's a lot of uh, old superstitions out there about food. Uh, I, I think the the best thing to do, is, and our clients find out, and I think I'd love to have this question. Um, maybe I'll ask uh, people to make video on it, 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 is they find out, number one, they're eating more food than they thought they would have to eat to lose yeah. weight, which is kind of weird. And they're not hungry. And they're learning how to eat food properly so they stay satiated longer. Um, it increases sleep recovery and the whole bit. So there's a lot of side effects that you get, but it's once you get going, it's the nutrition guys. It's simply, I need to get from point A to B. What do I need to get there? And, and, and you know, and, and, and put it in there, but there's nothing wrong with any of the carbs, protein, fats, fiber that is out there. It's just, when am I taking it? When do I need it? Simple yeah. as that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think this will kind of wrap everything up really well for this whole series. Um, but like you just said, you know, we do get that feedback a lot from clients where we get them on a meal plan. They're like, this feels like more than I've ever eaten, but I'm still yeah. losing weight. <laughs> I'm still mm -hmm. losing fat, still feeling fueled up and recovered. Right. Um, and that's because when you focus on good whole foods, like single ingredient foods, you're just, you know, it's almost like a, it solves everything, right? Like, cause with those whole foods, it's got the fiber built in. So just like we said, it's going to help with that satiety. It's going to feel volume. It's going to help you feel full, but it's basically passing right through you and helping that digestion. Um, you know, we're, we're going to keep the fats low. Cause like we said, that's, that's what a lot of people are just sneakily getting a lot of. And that, that raises those calories really high and it's not giving you a whole lot of fuel, right? Yep. Um, we're going to get you enough protein, which, help, which helps you feel satiated, right? And it's going to help you feel recovered throughout the day. And then whatever's left, we're giving you as much fuel as we can with those carbs without um, spilling over calories wise. So I think, yep. you know, that just kind of surrounding your, your diet around that with those whole foods kind of solves a lot of those issues. So yep. 100%. yeah, awesome. Cool guys. Well, let us know, you know, this, like we said, this, this ends our kind of three part series of protein, carbs, and fat. Hope this helps you a whole lot. Let us know, you know, we're, we want to do more series like this. Let us know what you want to know more about. Um, let us know if you got any questions on this. 
Uh, other than that, though, guys, put the stuff into practice right away. You know, like we always say, Elevate Everyday Podcast is about putting it into action, taking action on it. It's not just absorbing yes. it, having that mental masturbation, <laughs> right? It's like put this put this into practice right away. Um, but other than that, guys, we'll see you in the next in the next video. In the meantime, elevate every damn day. Peace. Peace. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.